Hi, I'm Matthew Coast, head dating coach and founder of CommitmentConnection.com. And in this video, we're going to talk about how to make him fall in love with you. Um, so if you don't understand how love works with a man, uh, getting a guy to fall in love will end up being based t solely on chance and luck. However, if you do know how men fall in love, then, and then it'll be a lot easier for you to connect with a guy in the right way and guide him towards falling in love with you very quickly. Um, so most women learn habits when they're children about uh, that, that kind of stop them from connecting with a man in a way that makes him fall in love. And, and um, sometimes it even just pushes him away altogether. And, and so uh, learning how to uh, connect with a guy in the right way um, is something that uh, if you didn't learn it from, you know, a role model or someone when you were growing up, it's something that, that you know, you're just going to have to learn now. Um, so the key to uh, a man falling in love with a woman, a uh, key to a guy falling in love with you, is developing a deep emotional connection with him. And so what does this mean? Um, it means that... Uh, you go beyond the physical level. A lot of women focus solely on physical attraction, but um, physical attraction only lasts through uh, typically the sexual encounter. And a lot of times guys will end up pulling away or disappearing after sex if you don't connect with him on a deeper level and connect with his heart. Um, so there are four kind of pillars here for uh creating that deep emotional connection that'll make a man fall in love with you. And here they are. Uh, the first one is making him feel like he's a man around you. Uh, one of the biggest mistakes that a lot of women make these days is they try to compete with men to be the man of the relationship. And men want to feel like men. They want to feel like they can be your man. And if you don't let him feel that way around you, he'll end up believing you and going out and trying to find a woman who he feels like he can be the man for. Um, so that's the first one is, is making him feel like he can be a man around you. And, and you know, there, there's a lot of different ways to do that. And one is just letting him lead, um, letting him... Um, uh, showing him that you appreciate him for uh, doing manly things like pursuing you or, you know, doing gentlemanly things like opening doors for you and that kind of stuff. Um, and just, uh, you know, complimenting him or appreciating him for that. Um, another, the second thing that you need to do here is making him feel sexually desirable. Now, um... This is incredibly important, and it's something that a lot of people don't understand, is that men uh, get sexual validation from women. And kind of like the one about feeling like he's a man around you, if he doesn't feel sexually validated from you, he'll end up going and finding someone that he can feel sexually desirable around, validated around. And so, um, you know, the best way to make him feel sexually desirable is to, uh, is to um, tell him how attractive he is when he does things that you'd like. So telling him that he's hot or telling him that you, you know, really like the way that his, you know, butt fits in his jeans. Um, just, you know, telling him little things things like that can, can go a really long way to uh, connecting with his heart and making him feel like uh, you're somebody that he can open up and fall in love with. Uh, the third thing is giving him space before he needs it. You know, a lot of guys, it, it's natural for guys to pull away sometimes. Um, and if you give him space before he pulls away, uh, it'll dramatically reduce the amount of time that he needs to kind of go off and do his thing and, you know, go into his man cave or whatever he's going to go do. And so if you give him space beforehand, um, he'll appreciate you for it. Whereas if you, when he kind of pulls away, if you try to connect with him when he does that, it'll only push him further away. And so the last thing that you really need to do here is show him that you're on the same team. 
um, you know, like we talked about before, a lot of women compete with men. A lot of women um, fight with men. They uh, uh, kind of bash men a lot. Um, you know, it's it's kind of popular in our society right now to uh, bash men. Um, and so if you show a guy that you're on his team, you're, you're a part of his support system, that you're in this with him together, um, it can go a really, really long way to um, making him feel safe around you and opening him up and making him feel like uh, he can fall in love with you. And so that's it for this video. If you want more information on how to attract Mr. Right into a committed, lasting relationship, make sure you go to my website at commitmentconnection.com and take my quiz. I'm Matthew Coast, and I'll speak with you again soon.